Welcome back to Sounders FC. I'm Tony Ventrella at Quest Field after a 2-1 win over the Colorado Rapids tonight before 36,333. One of the loudest crowds I have heard. Uh, there were no more than they're here usually, but man, they were loud tonight and for good reason. Just like 4th of July three weeks ago, the fireworks came early in this one and the Sounders held on for a 2-1 victory. I think the team showed a lot of grit and determination. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, we had some games where we played, you know, some good soccer and didn't come out with anything. Right now, we need to get points, and sometimes that means rolling up your sleeve, and the team certainly did that. We scored two good goals. Uh, we got, you know, obviously they got right back in it after we scored our first one, but we came back and got the second one, and in, uh, in the second half, you know, we, we had to dig in a little bit. But that's something that uh, this year we haven't been as successful at doing. And it was good to see the team, uh, you know, show that capability. So I'm very proud of their, uh, of their determination to win the game. Eighth minute of the match, Steve Zakawani shot hits the post, deflects off the back of Matt Pickens for a goal. one nothing. Sounders FC in a quick lead. I think the first goal actually took a bad touch. It was a crossfield ball that took a bad touch, but Freddie happened to be coming up. And then it was just a bit of ping pong in a box and it fell to me. And then just tried to get a quick release. I did it. It hit the post and was going in and then hit the goalies back. So <laughs> I'm going to hold that goal. But yeah, I was happy with that. More fireworks early, 30 seconds after Zakawani scored. Seattle gives up a goal. Omar Cummings hits a cannon shot just over the reach of a leaping Casey Keller, a 1 1 tie. Well, that happens. I mean, sometimes you lose that little bit of a concentration after you score a goal, and, uh, and, and we did. And, but, I mean, no, no disrespect to anybody. I mean, that was a great strike from Omar Cummins. And you gotta, sometimes you just got to you know, shake the hand of the guy that you know, comes inside and smashes one. And, and that's, you know, that's part of the game. But we showed great, great credit to us. You know, we almost came right back after that and had a great chance to score. So, uh, but then got the goal and hung on. And, you know, maybe I said in there, I said maybe eight games ago this would end up in a draw as they were pushing numbers forward and everything was, but, but credit, you know, I saw Freddie Montero at the top of the box clearing a ball. You know, that's, uh, it's just showing that the guys are doing what's needed. I think there's more goals scored right after uh, you score, yeah. you know what I mean, uh, than any other time. So, uh, you know, they caught us on a good goal and, you know, we should have been a little bit tighter and, uh, you know, hats off to them because it was a good strike and just a good goal all around. 17th minute, it's Zakawani again, this time with help from Niasi and Montero. 2-1 to one Sounders at halftime. I think it was a very important team win. One time I looked up at the clock, it was 85 minutes, and I remembered against Dallas, that's around the time they scored. So we just didn't have to panic and keep them in front of us, and I think overall we did a good job, you know. Um, the only disappointing part was that when we scored the first goal, they came straight back, but I think overall as a team, we defended well. It was a team win tonight. Lineup changes do work, but hard work makes the real difference, according to Coach Ziggy Schmidt. But for us, it, it's really more about not so much the tactical changes, it's just the grit and determination that we showed, uh, you know, and, and that we played with. And when we come out and do that, then our crowd gets behind us, and then our crowd was, was fantastic tonight. And, uh, you know, when, when, when we're working hard and we're giving them what they want, which is hard work on the field, and then they respond to that by cheering like they do, uh, it becomes a catharsis that makes, us, that makes us a dangerous team at home. I felt great about, you know, tonight's saves, and um, it's just whatever you can do to help the team win. You know, it's always, there's always going to be situations where, you know, you're going to make mistakes or, or, you know, there's just a great shot's going to beat you or there's a scramble or there's, you know, whatever happens. And, uh, but when you feel like uh, you can, you know, come up for the team and at key moments, you know, I think the, the, the save in the first half on, on Casey's uh, header, you know, we had just taken the lead again, you know, so it was in another case of then it's a draw, and I was just happy that we were able to, like I said, hold off at the end and saw a tremendous team effort. Pat Ioni, you know, sticking his head places. You don't want to stick your head, and I hope Connor Casey's all right. He's a good guy, and, um, and uh, but a, a great team effort. Not much of a rest for Sounders FC. 2-1 to one win tonight over Colorado. But remember, Wednesday night, a big CONCACAF Champions League game against Metapod from El Salvador. And here's the great news for you. There are still some tickets available. It's a 7 o'clock kick. It is a huge opportunity for the Sounders and their fans. Wednesday night right here at Quest Field. After a 2-1 to one win in the league against the Colorado Rapids, I'm Tony Ventrella, SoundersFC.com.